time to change. Welcome to another obligatory, this is what I'm doing in 2023 uh, vlog. And this time it's my turn. Hopefully you can hear me okay, it's a bit windy. It's a cold day out on the trails. And just thought I'd take this as an opportunity to give you an update on what the plans are for the next 12 months. So firstly, what do I mean by it's time to change? What's the reason behind that? Well, I'm not changing running. I'm not changing from running every day, but I am changing from chasing longer distance races, ultra marathons and marathons. The main reason being that I've got small human number three due to arrive in early March. So having three young ones, full-time job, you've got to be realistic about what you can actually achieve with the time that you've got in a way that keeps you happy, keeps the balance there between family and yourself and work. And so that has been a bit of a driver behind the targets and the goals that I've chosen myself this year. So I'll split this into two. First part will be what am I aiming for? And the second part will be when and where am I aiming to do it? targets and goals have to be smart. I'll pop that up on the screen in case you don't know what the letters stand for and hopefully that's what I've been able to do um, with the targets that I've got laid out in front of me. The first is to PB across three distances and that is the 5k, the 10k and the half marathon. I'll put my PBs up on the screen and when they were achieved. And the focus for the first part of the year really is on the half marathon. And I'll come back to the goal races in a little bit. And then I'll move into the 5Ks and the 10Ks um, a little bit later on into the year. So to PB across those three distances would be great. I did do well in the five and the 10K last year, but I reckon I've got a little bit more speed in me and hopefully that will stand me in good stead for when I move back up to the marathon distance. Okay, second target sees me ride away a little bit from the, the world of running and back into the world of duathlon and that is to enter and not just complete, but to compete in a sprint distance duathlon. Now I'll put the distances of the one that I've got in mind up on the screen because they do all vary a little bit. And my target time for that race and those distances is to go under one hour and five minutes. So that'll be a bit of a challenge in terms of the paces and the average speed that I'd need to ride on the bike. But again, I'm hoping that that speed and that cross training will 
benefit other aspects of my kind of fitness and my running further on down the line. Target number three is strength training. That one thing that we all know as runners and athletes and also as you get a little bit older in life as a man and probably as a woman, it is something which is really, really important for your overall uh, sort of physical strength and endurance. And I need, need, need to commit to a solid routine. I'm doing well so far. I'm sort of three weeks in to a 10 week program. And I'll pop that up on the board, uh, not on the board, I'm such a teacher. I'll pop that <laughs> up on the screen um, so you can kind of see what it is I've been following. And that is it for this year. Just keeping it really simple, pressure off, challenging targets, but hopefully um, achievable with the time and the time frame that I have. Um, gone. So that's what I'm aiming for. Let's talk a little bit about when I plan to do it. achieve them by well first um, race of the year is actually coming up next weekend and that is the farmer half marathon which I understand to be quite a fast and flat uh, course so there's a possibility of the half marathon PB next weekend but training hasn't been specific for that I've just kind of managed it over Christmas and really that's just going to be a good opener just to see where the fitness is at and what we've got in the legs so that is in uh, one week's time the next kind of a race is the Reading half marathon which is in early April I believe I'll find the date and pop it up on the screen. And so that is a an A race. Again, not completely flat, uh, flat course, but good PB territory and a big event as well. So hopefully with the crowds and the sort of large groups of runners, that could be a good one to hit that uh, half marathon PB. 10K and the 5K, I haven't really thought about uh, too much i'm just going to see kind of what comes up and it may be that i hit those in training or a park run or something like that and then we've got the duathlon which is scheduled for july the second of this year so that is about six months away um so it gives me a good, a good amount of time to get the cycling legs going and to get the speed going as well for those two shorter runs. So there we go, January, April and July. That's the first six months of the year planned out and I'm just going to leave it there for now. See how we're doing after six months and then think about the final six months of the year, where I am with those uh, targets I've just set before deciding what to do next. Do I continue the duathlon journey? Um, do I focus back on the half marathons in the latter part of the year so I've got a little bit more endurance to potentially step back up to the marathons? It reminds me that I'm loving it. Loving the shorter stuff. Loving not having to go out for 
two and a half, three hour runs. Um, and that might be, that might be the calling for a little bit, who knows? But the important thing is just to keep getting it done every day, get out the door, get the legs moving, get the heart pumping, get the lungs breathing a little bit harder. That's the most important thing. Everything else is just a bonus. And the bonus is you being here too. So thank you as always for watching, for tuning in and for your comments and your support below. And I'll see you at the start line of the Farnborough Half in a week's time. Take care for now.